since my last tutorial, I figured I'd make an improvement on how to install uh, the Gary's Mod dedicated server along with my Bunny Up game mode. For this one, I'm going to take a more structured approach uh, and divide it into multiple sub videos. First thing, uh, you need to actually get a working server is to download Steam CMD. Open your uh, preferred browser on Google, type Steam CMD. Click that first one, should be uh, developer.valve software. Now, uh, you have to pick your operating system. Since I'm running Windows, I'm going to do the video tutorial for Windows, not for Linux. But the procedure should be similar. Click this link here to download the, uh, the zip file. Open up the zip file. You can close your browser because we don't need it anymore. Now, simply find a, uh, a place to put Steam CMD. I'm just going to put it here because it's on my C disk, which is an SSD, so it performs like so quickly. Drag it in there. Now, make sure you run it as administrator if you're having issues with uh, permissions. If you run it as administrator, you're going to make sure that it should uh, it's going to work every time. Now, it's going to look for updates first. It shouldn't take long. Um, to begin, type login anonymous. You can also log in with your own username, but then you have to supply the password. And I'm not sure. I, I've just never used it because anonymous is what I was taught when I first started using this, and it's always worked. Um, if you want to install to the same directory, uh, then you can skip this step. But if you want to install to a custom directory, make sure it exists. Then type force install directory c users ralph games steam cmd backslash custom. And this will make sure the game will install to the custom directory that you just made. Now I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to do app update 4020. This is the ID of the Gary's Mod dedicated server. There's a list of other dedicated servers out there. Uh, it's also on the Steam CMD page that we just viewed, but for this video you only need this. And then add the validate subcommand so that it will automatically check if the downloaded files are uh, correct. Hit enter and it should begin downloading. Now this will probably take you between five minutes and one hour depending on your internet speed for me it's gonna take some time but regardless of the speed I'm gonna pause the video right now as soon as the download finished um, it may depending on your situation start validating the files for me just hit it successfully installed as well as 5.8 and I don't know why um, when it's done you don't have to do anything anymore so you can close the Steam CMD terminal now since we didn't specify an install installation directory, it will go to Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod DS by default. Otherwise, these contents would be inside of your custom folder. Uh, and that's uh, really it.